All right, welcome back. So in this video, I decided to cover a couple of reasons why I decided to join the HVAC trade. You might find it's a pretty good uh, option for you as well, just depending on your uh, circumstances and personality. Stay tuned. So one of the main reasons I decided to join the trade was um, just wanted to switch it up. I wanted to change up my careers. One of my first jobs out of college, I worked I worked at a desk job for a few years and I just didn't like being stuck behind a desk pretty much, you know, working on a computer all day. Wanted to get outside, be a little more active and essentially get just basically just be getting a little bit more exercise while working, a little bit more fresh air. I worked in the pool industry uh, before this for a while, doing a service and a little bit of maintenance. Yeah, I just like the outdoor aspects. Also, just the fact that you're not really being babysat by an employer. Um, essentially, as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you pretty much um, are, uh, what's the word for it, self-motivated to a degree, you pretty much don't have to hear from any type of uh, supervisor or any kind of manager managerial type role for days on end, really. Um, you can pretty much get your job done. Uh, you don't have to worry about too many people breathing down your neck. Essentially, it's just a pretty laid-back job. Now, if you're extroverted, you might not be your cup of tea. I'm, an, I'm kind of more introverted myself, so I definitely appreciate the time alone, the time to kind of reflect on my own thoughts and essentially just not really be bothered too much by, you know, people. But some people, that might not be for them. So um, that's really one of the main things I love about it is just not having to necessarily be basically micromanaged. Another thing I have to say I love about this career is just basically the lack of monotony. Essentially, that no two days are the same, really. I mean, as long as you're in service, you might be... I mean, even if install, it's not going to be that monotonous, I'm sure. Essentially, you're, you're dealing with different challenges day in, day out, seeing different people, different environments, essentially a, a new set of circumstances every day, multiple times a day. So you don't get that monotonous burnout like a lot of these... Um, other desk jobs or essentially office type jobs. I mean, it's a, it's really a mentally challenging type of job as well. That's what I like about it as well. I like to be challenged, not too physically demanding, honestly. I mean, you know, obviously you've got to be pretty, pretty fit in order to be able to endure a lot of the uh, conditions and different types of uh, environments and circumstances, but it's really not that physically demanding, but it's definitely a lot of mental, you know, thought that you have to be putting into it. So that's another thing I like. I like to be challenged mentally as well. It's a rewarding job in the sense that, you know, you're helping others day in, day out. You know, a lot of times the customers are very appreciative. They show their appreciation. So that just helps to keep you motivated, keeps you driven, especially when they give you tips, things of that nature. I mean, I know it's not always about the money, but that definitely, uh, you know, that helps as well as far as just giving you that extra boost when you feel like you know, when you feel like you just pretty much almost had enough for that day, you know, sometimes that tip is really what you need to keep it, keep motivated and get, get on to the next day. Just for those more difficult days. I mean, most days aren't like that. I mean, days like this where it's literally 70 degrees out in December, I mean, at the end of the day, days like that, I feel like I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this because essentially I'm just essentially going out, fixing people's issues. You know, most of the time I'm outside, if, you know, if I'm working on an outdoor unit. So it's really... Not that bad at all. It's a pretty decent job. Another thing, another reason you might want to consider is just obviously the pay. I mean, that's kind of a, a no-brainer. It's one of those things you get out what you put in. So the more effort you put into this, the more pay, the more pay potential you can actually um, achieve. You know, essentially, I feel like as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to say sky's the limit with pay, but you, it's pretty much... Um, you can you can definitely generate some pretty decent uh, revenue working in this industry, especially if you're not afraid to uh, you know switch uh, what do you call it change jobs or you know basically work on the side a little bit time from time to time. Um, it's it's one of those things where yeah it's definitely you know it can be profitable.